What is going on everyone? Anthony Cofrancesco from Data Dive, and today I'm gonna to be answering a very common question and that is how to find gaps in your master keyword list. So this is probably one of the most important concepts that you're gonna to need to understand when it comes to Data Dive, and that is being able to look at a master keyword list and figure out what are the keywords that you should be prioritizing as you rewrite your listing and as you run PPC campaigns. So let's take a look here real quick. The first thing that I wanna show you is kind of the model of what your listing and your product is gonna look like from an organic ranking perspective when you have done a really good job and you are dominating your niche. So I want you to take a look at this brand here, Pink Miracle. What you're gonna notice is that they are ranked on page one for the 339 keywords in this master keyword list. This seller, Pink Magic, is ranked on page one for 99% of these keywords. As I look through the MKL and I look at the organic rankings for each of the keywords, you can see one, 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 two, one, one, one. It's almost all ones. And even as I go further down the list, it's almost all single digit numbers. It's not until I make it here for like shoe kit for sneakers that I see something that's even a double digit number and that's a 13. So I am confident in saying that this seller here is dominating the niche. When you're doing everything right, this is what your product is gonna look like. Now, for this seller, they don't really have too much else to do. I would probably advise them to start looking at outlier keywords or scroll down really far down this list and you can see the first thing that I see that they're not indexed for is a very general word, but very relevant to what they're selling. And this is the best shoe cleaner in the world. Probably aren't gonna put that into your title, but maybe you could put that in your search terms and they could increase their rank and instead of not being indexed for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on this brand here, Crep Project. And instead of being ranked on page one for 99% of the keywords in the master keyword list, they're only ranked on page one for 13% of the keywords in the MKL. And you can see that the list here that they have looks very, very different than the one from Pink Magic. Instead of seeing all reds down the row and all ones down the row, we're seeing actually a lot of green. Anytime that you see this green with no number attached, that just means that we're out of the top 101 positions for this product, basically not showing up in search results. And so what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna say, what are the keywords that are highest up on this list because we filtered by search volume? And then what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna ask ourselves, why in the world, if we are in fact a shoe cleaner, why are we not indexed at all for shoe cleaner, right? You can see for sneaker cleaner, not indexed either. So if I'm trying to identify my gaps, don't overthink this guys, this is really, really simple. This is a gap, that's not a gap, right? I'm ranked 10 for shoe cleaner sneaker kit, I'm happy with that for right now. I would love, instead of not being indexed for all of these keywords, I would love if everything down this row was all 10, right? And I was all orange. Because then, instead of being ranked on page one for 13% of the keyword list, right? I'd be ranked for 50, 60, 70%, maybe even more. So, very simply, right? This is the gap. This is the gap. These are my biggest gaps. Where the numbers are the lowest, where my organic ranking is the lowest, right? That's highest up the list. Let's see if we can identify keyword gaps for this brand Aloda here. Shoe cleaner, rank 10, great. Shoe cleaner sneaker kit, six, great. But what do we see here? We see a gap. Suede shoe cleaner kit. So what's probably happening here is Amazon knows that this product is a shoe cleaner. It knows it's a shoe cleaner kit. It knows it's a sneaker cleaner, but what it's not sure about is if it is a suede shoe cleaner kit, right? So that's the gap. And the reason that gap exists most likely is because either this product is not suitable for cleaning suede shoes and it should be removed from the MKL, or we have just never written the keyword suede into our title in an exact form and we haven't established that relevancy with Amazon. Okay, so we've given you a few examples of how to identify keyword gaps. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next video.